Hi guys, I want to just do a quick check-in involving the forms. I know Chris has a lot of uh, in a lot of, of the tasks involving data entry input, and I just kind of want to go over the forms with you. I just kind of quick some did some quick minor updates. So I was working on the PDF forms, which I listed in another email, and um, involving touching the forms. I also actually touched um, I mean PDFs. I actually touched the forms as well. I moved some stuff around. So first thing I want to show you guys is when I go to an estimate. I can see you guys' original estimates that you guys provided with me. Let me pull it up real quick. I can see your estimates that you have the ship to and the name address here, right? So um, the ship to is obviously an important field for you guys. So I wanted to make sure that it was out in the open. So you can see here um, on the estimate form, uh, instead of having the shipping all the way down here hitting, and it's not even showing no anymore. I put the ship to information up here, so you can kind of we can put in here test answer, and then if we had multiple shipping addresses, which I should actually show you real quick. If uh, if the uh, test answer. If we went into here, right, and we added multiple addresses here, if we added multiple addresses, we can, you can add hundreds of addresses in here. When you go into actually the estimate form and you pick that name, it will list all the possible addresses that I have it listed that's associated with that customer. And you can do the exact same too with the bill addresses as well. And then you can do all the sales representation association. And so I moved a lot of the information that would go down here up into here to make it a little bit more easy for the data entry input process. Um, I also wanted to check in to see if you guys want all these different expires, dates, memo, uh, all these fields. Is it, do you, would you guys like them still showing or I can actually hide them? Right now we're using the department, the class, which the class only has tests in it and then location, which is different locations. Do you guys want that? And as well as this right here involving the items. So if we put items in here, right? do you want units, descriptions, price level rates, tax code amount, all these, all these different things. Um, do you need them? What's absolutely necessary? Is there anything that you do not want to take them? Do you want this discount item, this rate up here? What exactly do you want showing? I also want that same feedback involving the purchase order. So you can see the purchase order. I haven't done what I did with the estimate involving moving the shipping information up here. I haven't done that. So if you want to touch the shipping information, you'd actually have to go down to shipping and then do do it instead of having it up here. So I did I did have the estimate as ease of use, just giving you a quick example. So that's how it is with be shipping. I also want the same feedback involving the invoice. Do you want any, where do you want these fields that are so important listed? Do you want them down here or do you want them showing up here? Is any of these fields important? Do you want them taken away? Are they just cluttering the field? Same with the sales order, right? You can see the shipping is down here. If that's really important, we can pull it up there. And the reason why I'm saying this is because all this stuff that you're going to be having mapped to the PDFs. So if we go down to the PDF. You can see here in the, PD, in the PDF, that you had the bill to and ship to listed, right? So you get, you're planning on using them, it seems like. So maybe instead of having to go down here and change it up, you would want these fields listed up here. And it's just for ease of use. Uh, please give me your thoughts, and I'll be glad to update anything. Appreciate it. Bye.